The registry offers four dedicated computers that allow residents to access genealogy research websites, including Ancestry.com and AmericanAncestors.org. More and more people are, are interested in genealogy and historical research. As a matter of fact, ABC News said the second fastest growing hobby uh, here in America is doing uh, uh, ancestry research and uh, historical and genealogical research. Register William O'Donnell shared his personal experience using these databases. It takes you on an unbelievable journey as you try to discover your roots and try to uh, get records. You, you can have access to records across Europe or across the world, wherever your families are from. And you have access to census records. I personally have you know, census records uh, up in Canada, Ireland. Um, you get to see man manifests. Uh, I had uh, a grandparent come through uh, East Boston uh, you know, in 1923, and you can see who she came with and how much money she had. And I had a grandfather who, you know, they met over here in America, but he came through um, Ellis Island in 1921. This initiative is part of the registry's History Comes Alive project, which involves several efforts, including a transcription program. The registry has converted over 450,000 hard-to-read handwritten documents from 1793 to 1900 into readable texts. If you go to our website, www.norfolkdeeds.org, and you begin the online research, you can look up the handwritten documents, which are the legal documents. But then you can hit another icon and get the typed version of that document. David McCulloch, a, a Pulitzer Prize winning author, uh, actually wrote a note um, saying what a great uh, thing this was and how easy it is to do research with a transcribed text of these old documents. In addition, the registry has published three booklets highlighting notable individuals who have connections to cities and towns within Norfolk County, including politicians, musicians, athletes, veterans, and others. There were four presidents born here in Norfolk County, and there's deeds from the second president of the United States, John Adams, to the sixth president of the United States, John Quincy Adams. Founded in 1793, when Norfolk County was established, the registry holds over 13 million legal documents, ranging from deeds to foreclosures, mortgages, and more. In these uh, records are documents that give you insights into what was in the home back in the 1700s, just some of the people that were involved. All our records back to 1793 are available online. You can view it online, or you can do it the old-fashioned way. We are one of the few registries in Massachusetts that still print books. All these resources create a comprehensive research hub for those looking to delve into their family history or other historical records. So when someone comes by the registry, they can do research on the documents if that's where their research uh, takes them. Or you can use the bank of computers that has ties to Ancestry.com and other Ancestry uh, resources so you can um, you know, head on that journey if, and wherever that journey takes you. For Lindem Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.